Hello, my name is Jason Pierce. I'm a professor at the University of North Carolina at Greensboro, and I'm making this video to show a couple of my former students who are now working as research assistants, or RAs for short, uh, with me on a project, how to compare some data they coded. It's the same data, they coded it using the same scheme. We just wanna see how much they agree and, uh, and, what, uh, and where their disagreements are, if any. Now, given that we have to do this several rounds, they, they've already done some of this manually, but I wanna show them how they can use Excel to make this a little quicker, a little smoother. So I'm uh, preparing this video to show those steps. I've already set up this Excel file with three worksheets that we'll need to get going. And I've already done some of the work and I'll explain that as I go. Uh, this first sheet here is where the results will show up. And this is where we look at once we're finished. And this is where we'll be doing most of uh, the coding or the of the Excel sheet so that their coding uh, shows up here and we can see the disagreements. So their initials, and that's how I'll, how I'll refer to the two RAs to keep them anonymous, are JM here, and this is JM's data, which I've already copied in, and then LJ, and this is LJ's data. Now, there's uh, not much to do here. One little minor housekeeping item, in case it, so you find it distracting, uh, we'd actually want to do that, not a replace, we need to do uh, control A, which I already did, and to select all, and then row height, and if you just go 15, those, uh, sometimes when you copy worksheets from, or lots of data from one worksheet to another, it will, for some reason, stretch out the row height, um, using the, for some reason, it picks up word wrap for some cells or some rows and not others. So again, we get control A here, right click, row height, 15 is default height for Excel, and now they're all the same. All right, so that's fine, we're done with that. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is check that their identifiers, which these are gonna be really important just for referencing the, the records, are the same. And the way we do that is a very simple little formula that I want to write here. And we're just going to say if this value on JM sheet it equals the value on LJ sheet, then we'll just put the one that's at LJ sheet because it will be the same. If not, leave it blank and then close that out. And sure enough, there it is. So that the fact that it showed up tells us it checks out um, each of these of their data sets has 67 records. Uh, I've already checked that. So if we go down to 68, we should get all 67. And if we go to 69, we should get a blank or zero there, which we do. All right, so we don't need that. That checks out. So we're good there. And that's just, uh, that's, of course, very basic, but just shows you how we're going to make this work um, for uh, the formula we're going to use for a lot of the different columns uh, going forward. I'm going to center these just to make it easier to read as we go. The next column we wanna have is a disagree number or a question, which will be one, uh, one or zero. And we'll come back to that. I'm gonna stretch this out and center it. Just make it a little easier to read. And then we're gonna add the remaining headers. And the nice thing about Excel is it uses um, relative referencing. So if I copy this formula here over here, um, it's going to give me one of the headers and it's going to tell me that's the same on both sheets. There's one problem because we don't, that's not actually the first column we want. The first column we want is change focus, which is B. All right. But because we put the disagree column here, that is B now. So I need to move this. I'm going to just move it. If you grab it and oops, like that, when it makes that cross the arrows, it just just moves it literally. So now the reference, the rel referencing doesn't change with the move. And now I can copy it both ways to the left. So we'll get change focus, which is here and here. It won't co copy that highlighting. We don't need the highlighting anyway. Okay, and then we can copy this out all the way uh, to, let's see how far it goes. Rationale five is the furthest. So these are the open-ended responses from the participants. Response one, rationale one, and there's five of those. D zero means I've gone too far. 
So I'm going to highlight all these columns. Uh, when it makes this shape with the arrows facing each way, if you double click it, it'll expand the column width so it can display the entire contents, which we want just for the headings. We don't want to display all these. These are quite long. Uh, and we'll show how to use those later. Um, okay, so now the next thing is um, we actually need to duplicate this because, because this is, well, yeah, let me show you. We want to have one set of these columns for each of the RAs. All right, these four columns, because these are their codings and comments. <laughs> because we want to see uh, if they disagree, we want to see what each of them put. And that way we can see where the disagreements are. Now, how we're going to do this is first, we're going to copy these. So we're going to copy, and then I'm going to paste just the values. So now the formulas are gone. Unlike here, the formulas are still there. No formulas. I'm going to make this. These should be... Um, I'll make these JM. Subcategory JM, sub subcategory JM, and comments JM. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to copy these. And we're going to insert them here. Okay, so now, now we can expand those out so we can see them. Now we have two sets. I'm going to expand these out too. Two sets with, say, JM. Now we want to replace here. We want to replace, search and replace JM for LJ. I did this once before and I made a mistake. I had to start recording again. Um, so this is how we're going to do it. We're going to do replace there. And go to the next one the next one and the last one, and then we're gonna be done. All right, so that is our, those are our headers. And the next step, I'm gonna do one more check, and this is just very important, it's being a bit meticulous, but it's, it's better to check early and then rather than find out there's a mistake later on. And it doesn't take that long to do the, the check, so we're gonna check to make sure that the responses are the same. Because on each of these data files, they should have the same exact columns here. These columns should be exactly the same for both of them. Now, I don't know why they have co color coding. Maybe LJ did something for just to reference or for self-reference. Not sure about that. But if things are, if it's done correctly, these should all be the same. All right, we're gonna make sure the same before we go on, because we don't want to discover that later, too late. So we're gonna borrow this formula here. And what was the, these are at column F, column F. All right, so we can just go to column F. So we, co we copied this, go to column F and Sure enough, it's the same, it comes up. That's great, the problem is we need this over here. Now that it's moved, we can copy these over. Okay, now we've got some zeros here. That's surprising. Why would that be? Well, let's look, this is why we do this. Now it might be that this particular person did not for column L, M, N, and O did not have any responses, which is L, M, N, and O did not. So that's why those are zeros. So that's fine. Zeros are okay. Also, I'm not sure why these are shifted over into this cell. I'm not sure why it's drifting over in this cell at all. On the, oh, on the wrong one, it's, it's actually this one that's drifting. Okay, there we go, that fixes it, the left justified. 
Okay, now, <clears throat> even though this is zero, that's fine because it, it helps us do what we want. So if we go here, and we go down to 68. Now we get a bunch of zeros, that's fine. What we do not want to see are any blanks. And we can find blanks by searching for them. Let me just do find. Uh, find next. And then see, it's going over here. So that's good. It's not finding any blanks in here, which means we're golden. We're all set. And um, we can just leave that the way it is. We can delete the zeros later on if we want. You want it. So this is optional, just with a search and replace. Uh, you might have to copy and paste values first to make that search and replace work, but that's up to you. We've already seen how to do that. Now, next step <clears throat> is what we want to show here are any disagreements. So in this case, I'm going to reverse the formula and I want to make it so if the codes agree, then we're going to see blanks here. That means it's not something we have to worry about. It's all set because they agree. If they disagree, then we want to know about them and want to see how they differ. So I'm going to borrow the formula as before. I'm going to paste it here, move it over because it needs to come over one, and then, oops, copy it back, subordinate. Um, so that's actually fine. This, in this case, right now, it means they agree. But we're going to delete this comp, this one because what we really want is not if they agree, we want if they disagree. So we use, so less than, greater than uh, is the way you say not equals in Excel. So replace the equals with um, less than, greater than, which is this right here. Okay. Then, since this is the JM column, we're going to make this one JM. JM. Okay, but they agree, so that's fine. And then we copy these all over. Okay, now, JM put a comment here that LM did, uh, LJ didn't. That's why it shows up. That's fine. That's not a disagreement. That's just a comment. We're mostly concerned with these two columns. So I'm going to do this again. I'm going to, but this time, I'm going to copy this from here. I do a control C or, or you can do a right click to copy that formula. Oops. You have to hit escape so it doesn't keep editing that same formula. Click over here, reference this. Click here and control V or right click and paste. That will put the formula there. Same thing. It's blank. Um, and what we want to do this time is we want it to put LJ's data. Okay. Just to make sure we did the formulas correctly, this. Now, LJ had it said vague as well, but also says something a little bit longer. All right. All right. And we can see that later, but say vague. So JM says vague, which is true. And LJ said vague and more. So the, we've got our formulas working correctly. Now we want one more thing to check here. Uh, and actually, I'll do, I'll do that in a minute. Let's just copy these down so you can see how easy this is once you have it all set it up. <clears throat> Boom. Now we can see all the disagreements, most of which are their comments, which that's good news. Now there are there's a number where they disagree on their codings. And that's something we need to be concerned about uh, and we need to check to figure out why that is. And so to figure out which rows we need to keep track of because when we report this in research, we also um, report what's called inter rater reliability and we need to count to calculate that percentage. Because the second the subcategory depends on the change focus. We're only going to have this count one if either one of them disagrees. If this column disagrees, then of course there'll be 
a disagreement here. So that doesn't, we shouldn't double count it. So here's how we're going to do this <clears throat> is put another formula. If or this one does not equal that one, or this one does not equal that one, and all right, so that worked. So in this case, both of these agree. So it's zero. Uh, now we have to copy this down. When we get to this one, we should get a one, and we do. And we should have zeros, and then we should have a one here, and we do, and here, and so forth. So now we can feel pretty reliable about that. And then we can see that out of 67 agreements, we have possible agreements. We have 41 disagreements. That's quite a bit. Here's the sum down here, 41. So that's quite a few, but that's how we get started. Um, I think that concludes it for this uh, video. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this helpful.